Hello, my name is Juanita. I'm a dietitian and diabetes educator. I'm also the owner of Nutrition and Health Works LLC. The topic for today is plant standalls and sterols, and that's kind of strange sounding names for something. And if you've never heard of those, they're also called phytosterols. They are found naturally in food. The foods that have the sterols and stanols in them are wheat germ, wheat bran, peanuts, vegetable oils like your corn, sesame, canola, and olive oil. Also, almonds and Brussels sprouts have the stanols and sterols in them. What's the big deal about the stanols and sterols? First of all, they are shaped just like cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol that's found in your body. What the stanols and sterols do when you eat those, they prevent the body from absorbing the cholesterol in the intestine. This lowers the LDL cholesterol just because it is competing with the cholesterol for absorption into your body. The LDLs that aren't absorbed are excreted out of your body. So this is the way that the stanols and sterols lower your cholesterol. The great news is, is that plant stanols and sterols have been shown to lower LDL cholesterol anywhere from 5% to 14%, and the time for that to happen is in about four weeks. The recommended amount per day is two grams. Another really important thing to know is it's difficult to get the recommended amount of the sterols and stanols just from the food that you eat. So for this reason, stanols and sterols have been added to foods. So they're in spreads, they're in salad dressings, breads, cereals, low-fat milk, and low-fat yogurt. So you would need to look at the food label to see that those have been added. Stanols and sterols are also available as oral supplements. It is important to talk with your doctor if you're considering adding the sterols and stanols, just because it is a supplement. As always, I wish you best health.